What's really, really good, YouTube world? It's Coffee. Back again with some news, man. Some hip hop news, the prison sector, and much, much more, man. Movies, all kinds of ish. But did y'all see this clip circulating, man? Bus a bus goes off and throws a drink on this female, right? But did y'all see why? Did y'all peep what happened there, man? You see, I'm letting the footage run a couple times. Old girl couldn't keep her hands to herself. She just walked by bus and getting a big grabby. Pause, sir. I don't even know what I'm saying. Pause. It's a female grabbing at him. Nonetheless, it ain't right. She couldn't keep her hands to herself. Now, some people might say, oh, this is ridiculous. It's a female. It's a man. Nah, man. Like, if someone don't want to be touched, not even just in that way. Just keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. You know what I mean? Because it's wild. Uh, the media could have ran the other way with this because there's footage in the past. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember seeing where Buster Rhymes at the gym uh, threw a protein shake all over somebody getting in an argument at the front desk. I don't know what this is about. If they said his membership fees weren't paid up, he couldn't work out. I don't know what it was, but he went off and threw a drink on them. So it's like you could take that footage and then clip this footage and not include the whole picture and it just looks like bus is just throwing a a drink on a female for no damn reason <clears throat> but you know obviously we see that ain't what happened and you see the look in his face like yo who the fuck do you think you are to just yo like what do y'all think real talk that's violator ish she violated buster rhymes he ain't feeling it you know what i mean keep your hands to yourself female to men men to female everyone else to everyone else any kind of different combination you know g-e-n-d-e-r's you can work into it no one should just be grabbing at anyone you know what i mean let me know what y'all think shifting into some other news here man this video is uh hilarious um i guess this is like a parody of those slab championships and let me know if y'all been watching the Dana White, what is it even called? International Slap Championship Federation. I don't know what the fuck it's called, you know, but um, I guess it's been doing fairly well ratings wise. Um, uh, You know, there was a lot of speculation that it may have got clipped and that it off because right when it was due to premiere was right at the same damn time that Dana White went viral for slapping his wife but um i guess you know because there was like reports that sponsors were backing out and everything but um i don't know what's continue to go on I, I believe it's still airing if you've been watching it let me know but uh, i guess this is a parody you see uh, the one dude warms all up he's joking around slaps the big dude and then when you see yo when the big dude started teeing him up for the slap and you see that his hand is the size of the old boy's face whole head it's like it was at that very moment that he knew he flucked up over in uh the youtube prison world man pino uh we know has been having a field day with this 1090 jake news and again let me know what y'all think about the 1090 jake situation a lot of <clears throat> different narratives debates regarding the whole situation i keep telling everyone i'm a friend of 1090 jake but um and and again the news ish that was fugazi but this situation ain't looking so good and the fact that it just seems like he lied or he did lie you know it's just not a good look and there's reports that there's more stuff coming out i don't know we'll have to wait and see but in the midst of all this pino been having a field day smiling having a grand old time but um and you having some growth on the channel we got to point that out i think pino jumped up to like 30k so you know he's um having some success and everything but he got a he got flagged this man done got a strike i don't know what it's for but uh he can't upload for a week it is wild man one time i got struck right when some flockery was going on you know what i mean like some BS, some some dritted it it dama, and I couldn't even tap in because I got struck right at the same damn time. 
<clears throat> here's another funny clip right here, man. Um, Rihanna at the uh, Super Bowl. Shout out to Donna. Donna. Chiefs lost in the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Long time watcher of Jay Coffee Talk. You know we love you, Donna. Um, you know, Donna's team lost. You know, and uh, I was like, yo, did you enjoy the commercials? Um, did you, What did you think at halftime? She said, yo, Rihanna did good. But she said, yo, I think she's nasty. She's in the Illuminati. We can disagree to disagree, though, Coffee. I said, hey, I ain't mad, Donna. I, I'm not, like, a huge Rihanna fan. Um, what do y'all think, though? Is she an Illuminati puppet? I don't know. Uh, but in her performance here, pregnant as fluck, uh, she hit the butterfly or whatever it's called. And it's being, this clip is hilarious. It compares it. Um, it, it was saying, yo, Rihanna hit the butterfly just like Mike Epps. And you see him Friday when, yo, if, who, comment, what was the caption? Like, what was he saying in Friday during that part? Was he like saying, yo, Craig, when he was like, we top flight security. Um, he said, I can't, wasn't he saying something like, I can't even do the James Brown in these pants. <laughs> And then what yo, what'd he say in the one part? He said, Eat low body, got more head than he got body. Oh man, Mike Epps is hilarious, man. I wonder if they, they're ever gonna work it out with the studio to get that final Friday movie. I write Pete John Witherspoon as well. But um, I don't know. This clip I just had to bring it on here with y'all. See what you guys thought. And then to close it out, guys, Creed 3 trailer hitting the blogosphere. Did you watch Creed 1 and 2? What did you think of it? You know, um, I didn't really get into the Creed movies like that. For those that did, did you fluck with it? Were you a fan of the Rocky films? Did they continue the story line on well? Um, totally, like, well, not totally unrelated. It's in the same vein talking about continuing old storylines. Cobra Kai about to drop a new season soon. It's supposed to be the final season. Yo, they killed it, continuing the storyline on, bringing back old characters. They did it just to perfection, in my opinion, you know? Uh, but Creed, did they continue the story well? Are the films good? You know, are you amped to see part three? Let's talk about it all below. Thanks for watching, guys. Can't wait to kick it with y'all in the comments. Yo, uh, like the video subscribe if you're new i need that support guys this coffee talking music news sports and more i'm out of here y'all peace